Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're going to go through some essential tips that iPhone users need to know. And that's how you can transfer your photos from a PC to your iPhone or from your iPhone to a PC. And make sure you are watching till the end of the video because we have a really good quick efficient tip that you might not know coming up near the end but if you've not been around here before or maybe you have and you haven't subscribed yet then why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell and make sure you get ready to watch this video here on mobile trans so let's get into today's video In the first part of this video, let's talk about how you can transfer your photos from a PC to an iPhone without having to go ahead and download the iTunes software because as we know, iTunes can be a little bit temperamental. So every method that we give you in this first part of the video, you will not need iTunes for. So let's get into method one straight away, shall we? We'll start with our favorite choice here at Wondershare Mobile Trans and it'd be silly not to because our best and favorite method is to actually go ahead and use that Wondershare Mobile Trans software on your PC. This software is great because it's easy to use whether you're a tech expert or just getting started and Mobile Trans is compatible with all operating systems so it works with both iOS and Android phones. It also is compatible with Windows and Mac as well so no matter what system you have you can use Wondershare Mobile Trans. You might be moving from an iPhone to Android or vice versa. This tool can pick your WhatsApp chats from your old phone and smoothly move them to the new one in just a few clicks and this tool can also move data like photos apps text videos and more without any hassle so you can pick what you want to transfer by just ticking those boxes in the software so it is a really good powerful piece of software that you can have in your arsenal to help you back up your phones restore it to another device save whatsapp chats you can move contacts you can do anything with this so let me show you exactly what you need to do to help you move those pictures from your pc to your iphone first you need to open the mobile trans app on your computer and select the file transfer option after that you you must pick the import to phone feature for the transfer process. Next, connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable and wait for it to be recognized by the computer. Then choose photos on your computer and hit the import button and this will start adding the photos to your phone and it will only require a couple of minutes. Finally, Mobile Trans will finish transferring the photos after some time. Then find your photos in your iPhone's import folder. And it really is as simple and as easy as that. And it might take a bit of time depending on how many photos you're transferring over, but just sit back, wait, let Mobile Trans do its magic, and then all your photos will be transferred to your iPhone. The next method without using iTunes is actually to use iCloud. And iCloud is like your personal assistant when it comes to keeping hold of all your photos because any photos that you take, you can transfer into iCloud and you can move them across devices, whether that be Windows or iPhone, thanks to Apple and Microsoft working really well together. This method is one of our favorites as well because it's quick, it's effortless, and it doesn't take any technical know-how at all. But it's always good to get up to date and have someone tell you exactly how to do it step by step. So that's what I'll do now. So let's move on to this method and show you step one. Head to the Microsoft Store on your Windows PC and download the iCloud app. After that, sign into iCloud using your Apple ID and password. The window will prompt you to sync data with your PC and pick the photos option. A new window will appear for further confirmation and it'll ask you to upload your PC photos to iCloud. Then here, just select iCloud photos and hit the done button. Then just click apply to complete the process. Alternatively, you can actually implement another smart move here and create a folder in iCloud Drive, then copy your photos there. But now your photos are accessible via the files app on your phone. Another good option here when you want to get your photos from a PC to your iPhone is to go ahead and use Apple's competitor and use Google Photos. Now with Google Photos, you get 15 gigabytes free storage so you can upload up to 15 gigabytes of photos to Google Photos and easily have them accessible on your iPhone. And this again is one of our favorite methods because it doesn't take much time. It's intuitive, quick, 
and simple and Google Photos is one of the best most recognized apps out there. So once again let me show you step by step how you get those photos from your PC to your iPhone using Google Photos. Let's start the process on your PC and first head to Google Photos and sign in using your trusted Google account. Next hit the upload tab, select the computer option and start uploading your photos to the cloud storage. Then it is time to move to your iPhone and get the Google Photos app from the App Store and you might already have this signed in. You just need to make sure it's the same Google account that you used on your computer. Then go to the photo section within the app to find all your uploaded photos from your computer and then you can use them in whatever way you want. Now, another process here is to use email and it's probably not the best process to transfer photos because it can take a little bit of time and nothing is automatically synced, but it is an option if you don't want to use iCloud or you don't want to use Google Photos. And it is a really simple option because it's essentially drag and drop your photos to an email and email them to yourself and it can work quite well. So. Let me show you exactly step by step how you would do this. First, open the Outlook app or any app that you use for your emails and click the new email button. So it might look a little bit different depending on what app you use. Now, you must attach the photos by selecting the attach files icon and then just browse the computer. Select the photos on your PC and attach them to the email. The next step is entering the email ID logged in on your iPhone. Just make sure you send that email to yourself and it is accessible then on your phone. Lastly, unlock your iPhone and open your mail app and find the email that you just sent yourself containing those photos. This is really easy and it should be at the top of that email chain. Here you can long press on any of the photos that you have and you can select the images and save them to your phone and it is as simple and easy as that. And like I said, it can be a bit of a long method, but it is something that works and it is really effective. Now, let's talk to you about being able to use iTunes to help you move those photos from your PC over to your iPhone. And iTunes is an instrumental tool that you need if you have a Windows PC and an iPhone. And it goes beyond just being a place that you can play your music and back up your data from your iPhone because it is really good at doing that. If you want to have a good clean backup, then iTunes is a fantastic piece of software to have on your PC. And because this comes directly from Apple, you know it's probably one of the most efficient ways to help move that data to your phone and back up that device. But in this case, we're going to show you exactly what you need to do to move those photos from your PC to your iPhone and it can be a little bit complicated so stick with us from step by step and we'll show you exactly how to do it. Firstly, go and download iTunes free from Apple's website and install it on your PC. Launch the tool and continue by plugging in your iPhones to PC using the Apple certified lightning or USB-C cable. Following this, click the iPhone icon at the top of the iTunes window on the side panel. Select the Photos option in the main area and tick the box next to Sync Photos. Lastly, choose between the different options of applying all photos or selected folders and then just click Apply to complete that process. And it really is as simple as that using iTunes. Just follow the step-by-step -step guide and it will be completed nice and easily. Now, this last part of the video is answering one of the really common questions that we get asked a lot here at Mobile Trans, and it is, can you transfer your photos from a PC to your iPhone when you have no data or Wi-Fi connection? And the answer is yes, in a way. So we're gonna show you how you would do that. And what you need to do is just use iTunes again and follow the guide, and it will be nice, easy, and simple. First, download and install iTunes on your PC from the Microsoft Store and open iTunes to start the process. Then, connect your iPhone to your PC using that Apple certified USB cable. Click on the device at the top of iTunes, then select the Photos option from the left side panel and check the box next to Sync Photos. And choose the photos that you want to transfer and click Apply to initiate the transfer process. And that's how you can do it nice and easily without any sort of internet connection. And that actually brings us to the end of today's video. So what we've done is given you some really good tips on how you can transfer your photos from a PC to an iPhone without using iTunes, first of all. So that was with Google Photos. 
iCloud, and then of course we showed you exactly how to do it with iTunes. But the best method that I didn't mention then, because you should all know it by now, is using that Wondershare mobile trans software. Like we mentioned, it's nice, simple, efficient, quick, and you need no technical know-how how to do it. And if you need a reminder of how to do this, go back to the start of the video and follow the tips to try and get this done. If you want to download that software, check the description below and there'll be a link that will send you right to it. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, why not leave us a comment, leave us a like, and then subscribe to the channel. And of course, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that we upload to the Wondershare Mobile Trans channel. And if you subscribe to the channel, then we will see you in our next video.